What's good, everybody? I'm Cabana Earl. Yeah, it's your boy Cabana Ram. I'm with the Cabana Boys, and you're locked into the vote. Shout out to the vote. Who come from Paris? Where's Busby? Um, you know, your boy, he doesn't really go under the, um, you know, the Cabana Boys name. He's got his own, he's got his own style, his own um, following, his own brand. So right now, he's just working on pushing that. We guys are supporting him 100% because that's bro, you know? So just right now, when the times comes, you know, when you look, you'll see him when you need to see him, you know what I mean? But supporting your boy all the time because that's bro. But just right now, these are the Cabana boys. Okay, understood. We just had to ask because we expected to see four of you when you guys came up today. That's all it's it. It was almost like a shocker. But okay, shout out Busby. You wish him success. How long have you all known each other and how did you meet? Well, me and, me and Cabana Earl, we, uh, we knew each other for about 10 plus years. We were in primary school together, fond of his cousins. You know that Bermuda thing. Mm -hmm. And and after that, we just fell in love with music together. Like when it came to rapping, like, you know, he was doing drumming, I did drumming. And, you know, we grew up around music. And then it was a time, I can't even tell you the spark or when it happened, but we, rapping was the thing. Shout out to the youth nights that used to happen in the churches and all of that. <laughs> But I, you know, came, you know, cross paths with, with, with Ramsey, like, about a ram, like, so, and then after that, it was two different crews. It was Hood Stars, well, we had, we had a lot of names, you know how it goes. Yeah, what that kid is, what that kid is. <laughs> we had a lot of names, years. Like, a lot Damn. of names. So, it was us, me, Cabana Earl, Johnny, Hassel, yeah. and it was him, Busby, and, and, and Robin. All in a group. So it was Swagger and Hood Stars. And then when we grew up in high school, we all, you know, became close just from the vibe of each other. And then the music got involved. So once the music got involved, we was like, well, look, bro, you got you guys might as well all join up together and make do a thing like. So that's how it all came into place. So that's about what? That's a bit. We say that's eight, nine years yeah, for Ram. Yeah, that's nine years. Yeah. And that's like 13, probably. Yeah. <laughs> it's been it's a minute still, for us, it's though. It's you feel me? It's like, we're stuck together like glue. You hear me, though? Yeah. You feel me? Nobody like, else to yeah, you know? it's us, dog. It feels yeah. natural, like. Just adding on to that, I was in like my advisory back in high school, like, so. Yeah. I remember, you know, same last names and all that similar, so guys would yeah. be just in class. Yeah. I remember your boy showed up to advise you one day with this song. And yeah. I'm like, you know, his playing it to me, playing it to me. I'm hating on him, you know, I'm like, you know, that's <laughs> trash, bro. But yeah. he just kept at it. Like he said, this is the first guy I know to really take his laptop. Because Barkley gave you the laptops. Yeah. So yeah. my boy went and took the laptop, recorded some software, yeah. came to school, just had the tune. Little hair fun, mate. Little hair fun, mate. Yeah. Closet once he first yeah, in the studio. Yeah, that shit on my closet on your laptop. <laughs> put a little echo on it, running audacity. I said, yeah, but yeah. let me fucking, you know? And then from then, guys, yeah. we just say, yeah, I say, yeah, I could do that. You know yeah. what I mean? If you look at the oldie shit we dropped, like, you can't even find it, hear me? That's, just, that's <laughs> yeah. deleted, yeah. hear me? Yeah. Deleted, yeah. hear me? Yeah. Like, yeah. hey, <laughs> dog, hear me? But I knew Hassel still got it, like, you know that? I am got a bunch of the files. Yeah, so that's High pitch voices yeah, and all of that. Yeah, my God, it's been at it, <laughs> So how did you guys come up with the name Cabana Boy? Um, that pretty much, well, I was working out South Peak. You know, I'm a hospitality manager, so I was working on the beach for a while. And just the whole Cabana concept tied into that. Um, and like I said, even after high school, like, you guys were going by YBE. You know, certain, yeah, certain yeah. silly stuff. Like, but I just felt that, um, you know, Cabana, it has value. Yeah. Um, it has finesse, kind of, because the Cabana ties into a whole lot. We got Cabana Comfort. It's kind of is a brand, but um, it says the Cabana Music Group is just a whole lot of finesse. It's, you know, it's a big name. A lot of people, you know, they like it. Cabana, yeah. Cabana, like that rings your ear, you know what I mean? So you guys pick it up and ram with it. Would you say your group is diverse? Well, uh, yeah, because truthfully, like, it's okay. I could go, if you could go, you could look at the music. You, you could really look at the music. You could look at Coach's music that he puts out, and then you could look at the music I put out. Me and Rams got a lot of similarities, you know what I'm saying? We rap about similar things, you know what I'm saying? Me, personally, I'm just trying to, I just talk like that stuff, like motivate young guys coming up, because I'm a young guy coming up, you feel me? Like, 
And then, like, I rap about things and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Because it's the culture, like, you know what I'm saying? I rap about the culture. I rap about the environment I live in. So then when he raps about real life stuff that's happening in the world, you know what I'm saying? So when I got on his on his vibe, I'm rapping about what he raps So He got on my vibe, his on my vibe, you feel me? So it's definitely diverse. And then if you check out these songs that I'm got, like all the hot songs that I'm got out, I only even rap one there by myself, like, you feel me? These guys are on my songs. If it's a hook, if it's a verse, I'm got them on all my hottest songs, like all my big, like the songs that are my most popular songs, these guys are like on them, like, you feel me? So that should let people know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how this shit works, like. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, I was stubborn with it too, cause I went yeah. through a phase like, yo, I'm only talking real, yeah. like, like, you know, big talk, but then, you know, yeah. and I came back and I heard these song these guys are working on, you yeah. know, yeah, shout out to Jabari yeah. too, you know what I mean, these guys are working hard on the, on that song, like, yeah. I was like, and you know, it was always the group, so and I'm like, yo, I'm old for that, that's all for that, yeah. I'm old for that. But that's how it goes, cause with certain clicks, or just clicks, period, you know, it's like, all right, don't got my boy, you know, my boy's got my back. So if I'm saying this on a track, right, his support in it, you know what I mean? Cause like, yeah. I'll be out there singing, I could just say something crazy, you know what yeah, I mean? Dog. But I'm got the energy there, and, and they're going to be speaking yeah. to it in their verses, yeah. you know what I mean? So yeah. it's just like, when Kosi puts out an album, it's going to be real conscious. Yeah, It'll be a very conscious vibe, right? Earl's, like I said, motivational, and you'll be able to feel the energy. But yeah. and we're all together, you know what I mean? Like he said, he'll hop on his track, do this. But summertime, Cabana season, you guys are just sort of having, we're just having fun. <laughs> yeah. Talking that yeah. talk, talking yeah. crazy, you know? But just yeah. being fun, giving good positive vibes. And then it's, it's at the same time, it's like, I'm knowing this guy forever. I'm knowing <laughs> this guy for the longest. Yeah. So it's like, once we got on a song, it's like, I don't even have to explain him to what, I don't even have to tell him what these songs about. I don't even have to. More time in the studio, rapping, I'll just write a verse. I'll be like, yo, bro, just hit the second verse. You know what I'm saying? Or, yo, hit the chorus, or, you know what I'm saying? They'll tell me to do the same thing. That's how we make a lot of our music. Like, I don't really even like to talk. What I'm gonna talk about, like, you know, just put, let's just make a song, like, you know what I'm saying? All this talking and all that. We don't even really have to do that, like, you know? What is your biggest challenge as a group? What would you say that is? Um, time spent together. Just because we've all been overseas for years. Yeah. Um, I've been out in Canada for some time. These guys have been in and out the UK. Um, so like right now, like you said, we came back last summer, hit the ground running, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it was just like so much things going on in everybody's lives that allowed for us to really just invest our yeah. energy, our time. You know, right now I'm just focused on helping my brothers build, um, build our brand because there is a lot that can be made from it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So just spending, like, you know, we're always around each other, you know what I mean? If it's not one, it's the other. And um, it's a challenge, but it's also a goal, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, yo, bro, we guys have to link up, you know? It's like, what, what, what? Earl needs to go somewhere, I'm got him. Cozy yeah. needs something, you know, we all got each other. So it's definitely, um, we we'll build a strong brotherhood at this point, you know, like, I ride for these guys just because it's, you know, it's all love at the end yeah. of the day. How do you seem to manage your personal lives and school with music? Is it hard? Oh, uh, for me, huh? Like, when I first, because I have first went school, I only did like, I only did like a full semester in school. I started having like financial difficulties and stuff, so I had to come back home, and work, pay off pure bills and stuff like that. And at the same time, balance being with my brethren, being in a group and stuff. So like, you know, personal life stuff. I'm just about to like start another course in tourism and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I start that in two weeks, you feel me? Like, and then I'm about to drop another project. I'm, I just shot a video. I'm gonna still pay for my other stuff, like, you know what I'm saying? So I balance out a lot. So for me, I just have to, like, like, I can't even, like, you know, I heard I heard a lot of people saying, talking about my name, like, you know, mention, starting to mention me, starting to see that I'm grinding and grinding, but, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm mid, I'm starting to, like, progress, and then I bring my, my brethren's are starting to progress, but, like, I, I, like, honestly, like, if you really look at me, like, I have no choice but to stay ten until it's done, you know what I'm saying? So it's hard, like, I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. Outside of the music, it's all about, like, we gotta stay ten until it's done and grind, like. It's like the perfect now that it's, that we have, like, blend together and make the perfect team, like, you know what I'm saying? We're, like, we're gonna be good at, like, managing and, and, and giving the face on the business side. I was, I was making sure, like, nobody gets over on us. 
you know sometimes I, I you know I'm like stay back let's let's see where we're at let's 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 see what field we're playing with like you know and 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 like looking at other options as well like you know what I mean so the balance of everybody together you know what I mean because I could be too laid back sometimes and then sometimes I could be too impulsive you feel what I'm saying yeah, so then the balance of the group yeah. makes things work like you know what yeah. I mean and you know we're gonna push it and move it forward yeah. plus the brotherhood makes yeah. any disagreement just you know so it's, it's like, bigger the, the, the relationship off and I'm just gonna sit there and yeah. be like all right bro you know what I'm saying Relationship you know is what I'm more than anything, you know what I mean? That's this is the this is these the trillion the, dollar the This is the trillion dollar you know? thing that people don't have, bro. Nah, bro. People work to try to get like. Fuck off, damn, that, this be the early guys I accept that from, you know? <laughs> Any other guys, that's pressure, you know? For real. You know? So, and that's right. another thing yeah. with the um you know, like you said, the numbers. It's hard because there's money to be made, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, we guys are we want to be able to make a living off of our passion. So right now I got these two guys, you know, if it gets to a point where we're making money, we're already breaking bread. Like we all break bread amongst each other. And I mean, big money, no chance or nothing, you know, because the money's going into what we need. Yeah, you know, like we're investing in ourselves, getting all this equipment. So it's just like at the end of the day, once the money is made, I can't split 10 grand amongst 10 guys, you know what I mean? It's easier to break that with the two other guys. So. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, they stayed on for a come up. Like, we're really staying. We ain't got no blinging chance, no nothing. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, like, <laughs> just know, like, we got things to pay for, like, all that type of stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't, I don't care what nobody says, you can't pay for it by yourself. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Jabari just built a studio. You know what I'm saying? And he basically did that a lot on his own. But at the same time, we gotta hope him buy this. We gotta hope him buy that. Because we're, at the end of the day, we're gonna hope him do things. And at the same time, it's gonna, it's gonna hope him got revenue and stuff. And then we got merch and stuff coming, group merch. Then we got our own personal things on the side that we do. Cause it ain't just about the group. We do personal things on the side. So it's like, you know what, we're starting to like, Get into a position where we can start making money off what we do, like, but you know, so progress is happening, like. Right, and even as yeah. you guys, as a group, you guys are actually um, solo artists separately too, differently. Like you're a group, yeah. but you do yeah. six single That's songs. What I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. Right, so everybody brings their own style. It makes me wonder, like, who's you guys' the biggest influences separately, individually? Um, well, for me, it's probably. Take uh, well if, if to be honest, the start of music, the start of music for me is definitely reggae. Like you know what I mean. And you, our, our as Bermudians, as Niners babies, our our old school is reggae. Old school reggae, bass banging like you know different shirts that was out your parents would go to. You know what I mean. And then so that was the first love. And then once I I want to I want to say my first love of hip hop was when Damien Marley and, and Junior Gone made that album. And I went and I, I, I went to the, that's when we were still buying CDs, like, you know what I'm saying? Went to it like, mama, mama, well, look, we gotta get this, look, look who's on it. Like, and she, you know, she is, she's the one that showed me about music like that. Yeah, so she, she's like, oh, his on it? Yeah, let's get it, let's run it. So he run it and I'm like, whoa, this is serious. This is, this is serious. So, and then after that, you know, I fell in love with J. Cole, Kendrick, like that whole class, Wale, Wiz Khalifa, Mac Miller, that whole class, I feel like that's why we do what we do. Make, we rap, we definitely rap, but we make music too, because growing up, that was the class we, we saw guys just starting to come out and watch them grow to be who they are today. Like, so, like that class right there is how, I think that was one of our main influence, that Stully, Nipsey Hussle, you know, all of that, that whole class. I think, personally, you know, guys can at me on curve, but I feel like that's the best class of hip-hop ever. On the island, everybody came up listening to a lot of reggae. I think that's even influenced in our type of music, because it be rap, but we're bouncing on the beat, you know, we're bouncing, like you can sing, dance, do everything, so it's just a lot of influences with that, and like he said, the, um, the era we grew up in, these are guys, you know, it's when Drake's first coming out, so his singing, but even back then, you had like Ja Rule and all that. But you got guys like um, J. Cole, Mac Miller, like he said, these guys aren't singers, but they're harmonizing and being melodic on their tracks, you know? And um, that's something I fed into a lot, because I just love, you know, I love just expressing my vocals a bit. Um, for me, the first love for real music 
or at least saying like, yo, I just love the art of it. I'd probably say it's ASAP Rocky. Um, it was a time when, back when I was playing football a lot, I was overseas in Spain on like this, probably like a 14 day trip. And I went out there and before I went, I downloaded his mixtape. This guy in my class had just told me. Um, um, so I downloaded his mixtape, it was him and like you say, a Stully. So I'm out there in Europe, you know, I'm about 16 years old. I'm um, for about two weeks just listening to these two tapes. And it's just crazy, you know, it's getting a different scenery, seeing outside of home. I'm looking around in these countries just like, you know, and listening to the things they're saying. Um, it's good to get outside your environment, you know what I mean? Because it makes you look at things from a different eye. So like all that came up, um, and that's kind of what's really motivated me as well with like this group. Just because, we, you know, we move kind of the same way. Everybody's got their different talents, different strong points, but when it's put together, like it's scored up, you know what I mean? So definitely say ASAP Rocky is a heavy influence on me, um, just in regards to creativeness. Then, you know, you have Drake, Wiz Khalifa, like I said, Wiz Khalifa, I listen to a lot. I was on Taylor again, rocking the chucks and all that, you know what I mean? That's when we were really starting to get into style and um, just music itself. We came up listening to the same class, so like the Kills, Drakes, Meek Mill, MMG, I really fucked, I really liked that, um, that era of MMG. Um, as far as the new wave, I don't really like too much of the new wave. I like A Boogie, and I like Migos. And uh, like young Ben, like I like a lot of guys. I like the England scene. Yeah, and uh, you know, UK scene. Yeah. Hey, like, shout out to I UK. take in everything really, like you know what I'm saying. But definitely coming up, like you know, being around my nana and stuff, I'm bumped a lot of new edition. You feel me? So like I like I like be chatting, you know, like saying certain things. Like you know, I wanna, you know, you could have a little swizzle walk on the beach listening to my music, chatting up a thing, like you know, or you could let my music do the talk and fool you, like you know what I'm saying. Talk. Like every girl likes exotic talk, you know what I'm saying. Like, I got the opportunity to see you guys perform live at the Outlaw Star Festival. You know, shout out Combat and Abafor for putting it on. Yes, yeah, no doubt. Appreciate that. How was that experience for you, the Outlaw Star Festival performing there? I had a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed it, you know. Like I said, shout out to come back because it's no it's a lot of Bermuda talent out here. Like well like like I can't especially when I came back, I said, I feel like Burma's got some of the hardest up you know, artists in the world. Like, you know what I mean? Com you can compete with the UK scene, the American scene, like in my opinion, well like right there with everybody. But we just don't have the people or the recognition elsewhere to make it happen. So, and also, it's a new wave of it's a new wave, and Bermuda's not used to that. These last stage and then local artists that really got to perform, were reggae artists. So now we're coming with, you know, they're coming with that track because it's popular, and you know we have the young, and you know who are going to do things as well. We also have our vibe, you know. We also do still have reggae. We also have conscious rap that's all top shelf quality. And there's no been nobody that's done that. So come back, you know, took the risk and say, look, I'm gonna do it for you guys, you know what I mean? So I appreciate that as well. But as for the performance, we was, you know, this is the first time I'm performing my boy since, what, high, high school? school? High school? You know what I mean? And I love performing, like, you know, I, I you know, do my thing out in England, just take my speaker, go out on the street, mm -hmm. just for practice, like, you know, people drop the money in, but I don't do it for that. I never make no profit, because I'm gonna travel to different places and, you know, do my thing, but I just love to do it, because, you know, that's, that's what's up, like. So, when I came home and, you know, what, what, what there, and what just, the energy is just there, that's something I can't really explain, it's just, the energy is just there, and, I'm going like that's I'm going like I'm going like yeah that's one thing Kosi's always yeah. Kosi's that's, that's the, Mr. Um, Passion there right now <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's channeled in yeah. I'm listening to him like listen to the yeah. playback because even during the show I'm in the zone you know yeah. what I mean I'm up there hard and he might so we guys yeah but you heard Kosi's always there just at it like so I think he's a veteran on the stage at this yeah, point yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean boy, that's so, a strong point and that's what's really nice to have him in because he be spitting he's got the flows but Man popping out the neck and all that, <laughs> but he still got his breath yeah, going. Yeah. So yeah, I'm man. just like, yeah, you know, it's like my boy goes hard. Yeah, he ain't easing I mean? up that passion for nobody. No one, so nobody. it doesn't even matter. But it was a great experience, you know, he enjoyed it. 
Um, you know, I came off my shades and all that. I like to keep some lenses on my face. Um, so. <laughs> but it was cool, you know, you guys really enjoyed it. Um, it was a great time. We got to do a bunch of tracks. Um, Guys, I'm tired. I got off the stage. I was literally exhausted. I was trying to leave it all out. Yeah, like, <laughs> exhausted. And that's the thing. People don't really see the passion. Because we guys, you know, Earl had, had to take his shirt off. At a point, I'm like, you know, bro, I'm like, you guys, we guys are tired. <laughs> but, but once Cabana season came on, you know, we guys just channeled him. A few tracks up there jumping. I'm excited hearing the tracks coming on. I did the track list. And I'm excited to hear these songs coming on, you know. So I just really enjoyed the show. Uh, Sam, then you know, shout out Outlaw, shout out Alpha Four Digital, shout out Bermedia Vote, shout out Photogenic, shout out the young guy. I've never really seen that photo, the photographer guy mm -hmm. before. And shout out all the artists, you know what I'm saying? Because it was a good, it's a good show. This festival is gonna be probably the biggest thing in Bermuda in the next ten years. Mm -hmm. And the guys coming afterwards, they don't even really see it, yeah. but like. You got like, real. hey, all you young guys watching, we're paving the way for you guys. Hear me, dog? Like, we want some real talk. Like, it's gonna be easy when the next generation comes through. Like, just, cause what had to do? You know what I'm saying? We got, and that's what I'm saying. The globe, the by the time they come through, the globe's gonna be looking at Bermuda. Like, it's gonna be an established music hub. You know what I'm saying? Well, what's next for the Cabana Boys? Right now, we guys are working on relocating. To be honest, like I said, these guys already been away. Um, Truthfully came home just to grind out, get the last bit of the local scenes for the videos, um, just a bit of networking. But um, shh, I'm talking October. Yeah, I'm out of here. I'm going to Lower Island. Yeah, I heard. I'm like, yeah, let's get it. 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 Let's get
getting your high school fan base yep. is <laughs> like that's like your that's like your foundation. That's how it's foundation, like you know. So start there. You know, get your following there, and then once you do that, once you step out, just try to build more. But if you, even if you, even if you just build your brand in high school and get guys knowing about it, or say, you know, oh yo, how's that brand going? And if they could come to you and yeah. check that, by the time you finish high school, and you can start putting money into and yeah. investing yourself, like the flashy stuff will come later if it's supposed to come. That's the end, like you spending your yourself. You That's real. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's real. So before you guys go, can you guys, each of you tell us something about the other since you guys have known each other for so long? Yeah. Nothing that's yeah. going to embarrass the other person. <laughs> All right, well, you know. But one, I'll let you get one at a time. All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know, hear me? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. A whole lot of jokes between guys. Yeah, yeah. A yeah. whole <laughs> lot of jokes. I want to expose nobody, though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, uh, <laughs> okay, okay, uh, okay, um, um, one time he was recording and, you know, like I said, we boys, we, you know, growing up, so we obviously we get in fights sometimes, mm -hmm. so we must have got in a scuffle, and Marcus' mama kicked off, like, ah, but he got out the house, you heard glass, break, like, you know, and then we was recording, though, so, like, we got the, we got the recording of all of that, though, and that was just probably one of the funniest recordings yeah. I've ever heard, like, Yo, shout out my mama, hear me for letting guys rap in our house. Like. He still writes in a book. He writes in a book, and I actually had the book. I kind of, I needed it the idea. I had it for about a week or so. so. <laughs> fans his book, trash, his fans trash, so I don't know how he's writing. Yeah, bro, come but, on, man. You know, he's still got in here, so I'm gonna get your boy his book back. But that's one thing, you know, yeah. I admire to see writes in your book. Another thing for yeah. the advice as well is that, you know, don't. No matter what people say, like, cause it's yeah, millions, like, you know, it's a lot a million of haters over here too. World, right? so a lot of haters. You could easily find yeah. fifty thousand people that would want to listen to your yeah, music. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fifty thousand times five for each yeah. track. There's money in your pocket. Yeah. You know, when it comes down to it. So it's just like you know, there's so many people in the world. It's like yeah. I don't care if two hundred people don't like my music. Yeah. You look at people's YouTube videos. They be getting seventy million views. And they have like 40,000 dislikes, you know what I mean? So it's yeah. so many people out there, like, yeah. so just work on your show own. business is a billion dollar industry, you feel me? I got 20,000 views, I'm like, we'll quit my job or something, man. <laughs> right? Like, yo, who this slavery? <laughs> you know, <laughs> tour, bro, I mean, I'll take 500 <laughs> pounds for that shoe, bro. That's, <laughs> yo, let's get it, bro. Yo, yeah. let's work on your mental. We guys all right now just trying to make sure our hairs are straight. We all know what we want from this. Um, I know how, the type of man I want to become, and I'm working towards that as well as both these guys. And at the end of the day, we're helping each other get there, you know? There's not many people that will really look out for their brothers like that. Like I said, we break bread for each other, and that's like, that's not to be taken lightly. Like, we guys really are investing in each other. The paychecks going towards each yeah. other, you know? No what hundreds I mean? of dollars so, either. No hundreds just, of dollars. It's just all worth yeah. it. The grind, we guys really see it, you know? Um, just trying to take over the world. Don't want to get too complacent. We're getting old. Like I said, we're 23 now. Uh, you know, like I said, we're like eight, nine years in the game. You know, guys, like, oh, you got 18-year-olds yeah. walking around the bank, rolling yeah, Instagram hear me. and all that. So, yeah. I mean, they ain't speaking to nothing real. Yeah. So we're making music. That's what I'm saying. Once we get one, I know once, I know me personally, like, once I get one, I'm, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm dropping hot shit. Yeah, like, I, like I drop a lot of hot music. Like, if I could speak on my... Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I know, like, once we're deals, like, we're just going, like, you feel me? Like, and they all still, like, a guy like me, I know, because we, these guys are like, tan to us, dawn type of, we'll still be doing, like, shows, like, the festival that we started at, you feel me? We'll still be doing, just, just because, like, that was a, you know, like, but that's just how we are, like, you know?